Hey everyone, this is Dr. Ruccio. I am here with Ron, who has read Healthy Good Healthy You and seen, thankfully, some nice results. And he was kind enough to share his story. So, Ron, I'm really looking forward to hearing more about your your journey today. Yeah, absolutely. So, I um, a, a couple of years ago, I started experiencing some shoulder pain and some uh, tinnitus on my elbow. Mm -hmm. And I figured, well, it's got to be, I, you know, I'm a, I go to the gym, so I figured, out, you know, it's got to be a gym injury because, you know, those, those types of things are very common in a gym uh, that you get a tendonitis or a shoulder injury. But I laid off everything for, for a while just to rest everything and still wasn't getting better. So I stopped doing certain exercises that would you know, exacerbate my problem. Right. And then I started finding out, well, there's more and more exercises that were causing me trouble. So I was like, <laughs> wow, it be something other than my exercise program. Right. And so I, um, I ended up, it just kind of got worse and worse. And so I ended up like, well, I gotta, I gotta fix this. So I went to the chiropractor and he's like, Oh, you got maybe had this problem, that problem. So I went through an intensive series of uh, adjustments to try to fix it. He couldn't fix it. So he's like, Hey, you should go to an acupuncture <laughs> specialist. So I went to acupuncture specialist and, uh, went for a full round and the guy's like, God, I don't know what to do. I can't, I can't fix this. Mm -hmm. And then I went through, you know, okay, let's go, let's do, you know, massage. So I did a lot of massage, nothing worked. And um, then it really started to affect my sleep. It was very painful just to move. You know, it got to that point. Uh, if I rolled over, you're extraordinarily painful. And I was like, I, I have to, I have to fix this. And um, so I decided, you know, I'll go kind of seems like maybe it's arthritis, you know, because I started feeling other parts of my body now, not just my shoulder or my elbow. I started feeling mm -hmm. my toes and my fingers. Like, then I got kind of scared. Like, maybe this is arthritis. So I yeah. went to the doctor finally. After this is like after a year, year and a half, and because uh, I don't ever go to the doctor, <laughs> and he's he diagnosed me. Said, "Yep, in fact, you do have arthritis." And so I'm like, "Well, what do I do about it?" And he's like, "Well, here's some NSAIDs and get some physical therapy." And was this rheumatoid or was it was it osteo? No, he said it's he said it's not rheumatoid arthritis, which was yeah which was good. He just yep. said, you just have arthritis. Yep. And uh, I knew that arthritis was an autoimmune condition. Um, and so I was like, well, I just have to fix my, my autoimmune. That's what I got to do. I'm not going to just take NSAIDs for the rest of my life. And in fact, they didn't really help me. Mm -hmm. uh, even the physical therapy, nothing helped me. Uh, absolutely nothing. And so I knew that um, your autoimmune has a lot to do with your gut. I had I'd read a lot about it. And I already had a pretty good diet. I had, I'd been on a paleo diet for five years. And, okay. uh, and so uh, I really researched it and said, oh, I got to go on an autoimmune diet, paleo diet. So that's what I did. I did that for a few months. Didn't really help me. Mm. And I'm like, wow, how do I, how do I fix this? And so I did a lot of research on the internet, came across your book and I read it. And I'm like, wow, this is the first, it made lots of sense to me. And I, I thought, the nice thing about the book was it, it was a, you know, it's a full protocol. Here's what you do right? You know, go through these particular steps. So that was, uh, I thought this is great. So I knew my diet was already, you know, pretty good. So I skipped that and, um, I, I was so desperate to fix this. I just went right to the probiotics and also the antimicrobial at the same time. Sure. So you still, you skipped the dietary phase, but you had already pretty much satisfied a lot of the diet. I had satisfied that. Yeah. Cause I had, I was very aggressive about trying to, trying to fix this with my diet and it just didn't work. Right. And so I went on the twice a day probiotic protocol Then I went through the two month program of the antimicrobial that you prescribe. And I, after two months, I got off that stayed on the, um, on the probiotics and little by little I before all this, but I got your book. I, I made an, i made an appointment with you, you know, but it was like six months out. Right. right. So like, okay, I'll wait, wait six months, but I'm going to go through this protocol. Well, at about probably the fourth month, I started feeling significantly better by the fifth month. I was basically, everything was great. And, and I didn't even realize it's just little by little, it got better and better. And I, I realized, God, this is gone. I don't even have it anymore. So I canceled my appointment with you. So I'm like, I don't even need it. <laughs> Great. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's why I wrote the book. Um, so, I mean, thank you so much for that. And really happy to hear that you saw this improvement. And it's, it's quite interesting. Uh, two things that really 
run through my mind as you're telling your story. One, as we discussed many a time on the podcast, is the gut joint connection. So right. obviously you, you uh, showcase that profile. Um, but also that you know there's this balance between we shouldn't expect things to work in a week, but we also shouldn't wait over a year, right? And, and, and your case is a little bit of a slower response, kind of showcasing the importance of, of being patient. Uh, I'm wondering, did you notice anything, any early indicators of improvements before your joint pain started to improve around that four-ish month mark? Was there any um, you know, low-level digestive stuff that improved, or were you totally um, yeah. yeah, there was a little bit of that digestive stuff that did improve. Uh, I had uh, been feeling, you know, what I really kind of felt was I went through a stressful event a couple of years ago, and I think that was the cause of it. And I, my theory is that it just really wrecked my gut. <laughs> Cause you know dysbiosis sure. in the gut, and um, you know I did I did was burping a lot, kind of feeling those kind. Of, I wasn't bloated and that type of thing, but I did after I drank or ate, I would kind of burp, and that did go away. And that went away before the four month ish mark. Yeah, yeah, that did go away. Yeah, everything was very gradual. Yeah, you know, just on a downslope. Yeah, uh, it was so gradual I didn't even realize it. Mm-hmm. You know, and then eventually I just said, hey, I, you know, I'm not even feeling this pain anymore at right. all and it's just completely gone that's how i uh, was when when i cleared the parasite i had many a year ago um some of my main complaints were, were energy and brain fog and it was a gradual improvement to where i didn't notice it until maybe second or third month after finishing the treatment and then i looked back and i said wow i, I never would have had enough energy to do this two months ago and it kind of hits you like wow these right. things are, are gone so right exactly now yeah, sleeping better you know I, I think uh, a lot of things just improve on a slow, you know, a slow basis. But uh, for me, it was quick because I had gone through uh, quite a while of this pain. So, yeah. Right. Over a year prior. Yeah. So I guess four months relatively, I guess it's up depending on the scale you're, you're measuring against. Right. Um, well, fantastic. I'm, I'm glad we had a chance to share this because we haven't discussed in a while the, the gut joint connection. We published a video case study now, maybe three years ago with Johnny who, and he was a young guy who had RA and his RA pretty much went away after going through a course of antimicrobials. Also after building the foundation with diet and probiotics and then um, kind of culminating with antimicrobials and he was off his RA medication um, only after a few months. So there's definitely this, this connection between the gut and the joints and you did a phenomenal job obviously you went to acupuncture chiropractic massage you did paleo all the way through aip so you came in really well educated and, and having had left uh, very few stones unturned but right. this this one really important area of that fine tuning of your gut health uh, can really move the needle uh, so just i mean fantastic stuff uh, is there anything yeah. else you want to share with you well i did it did i mean i've always been aware that the gut was uh, a very important part of your your health you know, but yours was the first uh, information I got that said, you know, that kind of laid everything out in a protocol. So right. I continued to stay on uh, once a day. I was doing twice a day probiotics, you know, morning, mm-hmm. right, right, first thing in the morning when I went to bed. Sure. And, uh, and now I just, I'm on a maintenance program. So just every day I just do, you know, the standard probiotic protocol and I'll, I'll just do that probably forever. So Perfect. Perfect. And it, so it sounds like you've been decreasing your dose over time and now you're trying a lower dose. Yeah, once is- at about, at about, uh, when I, once I realized that, you know, Hey, everything's good, um, at the four or five month mark, then I just started to, let's go to once a day to see if I continue and, and I continued on. And then I just, I just do once a day. Perfect. So this is one of the things I tried to write into the book, which was, um, not this dependency upon supplements, but rather let's, let's hit our peak improvement and then from there try to find the minimal effective dose. So it sounds like I was successful in, in vectoring that philosophy. I think uh, so, yeah. Yeah, good. And then I also want to backpedal to something just really quick here regarding the autoimmune paleo diet. Sometimes people think if they have an autoimmune condition, they have to go all the way to the most restrictive iteration of a diet, the autoimmune paleo diet. And that doesn't seem to be the case. And why I think that's important just to reiterate that is because you having to be, or or you keeping yourself on the autoimmune paleo diet, absent of any symptomatic improvement, just makes your life unnecessarily restrictive and difficult. Correct. And I, I had, I had never experienced, I never had a food allergy or anything like that. So 
I was like kind of skeptical, but I was like, well, you never know. So I'm just going to well try really it. strict and try it. Yeah. So sure. I was really willing to try anything. So. Yep. Yep. Yeah. And this is why we say in the book, we don't want to force a dietary solution to a non-dietary problem. So you went through the trial, you didn't see any benefit, and then you moved on as the book protocol lays out to these escalation of steps to the probiotics and eventually to the antimicrobials. Correct. And that's, that was a great thing about the book is just, you know, just laid out step by step what to try, what to do, you know, so. Right. Awesome. Great information. Well, well thank, thank you, Ron. Um, and Ron, great story. Um, again, thank you for sharing everything and, and again, helping our audience see that there is hope. And, and in your case, I'm sure you were really frustrated at one point after being yes. seen by numerous doctors and trying these various modalities. Um, but for our audience, you know, don't give up hope. There is certainly a world of benefit that awaits you as you optimize your gut health. Again, not to paint that as a panacea, but definitely something that we want to incorporate into the process. Absolutely. Yeah. And anything you want to leave people with? Uh, just, uh, you know, just go through the protocol if you're having uh, issues and, you know, give it, have patience and give it time and, and uh, see how it works. It just, it worked really well for me. So awesome. Awesome. Well, Ron, thank you again so much. Great. Thank you. 